All right, everyone, welcome back to your favorite cyclist YouTube channel and this week's Bike Quick Talk. It is great to be back and it's great to have you guys joining me with all these videos. Today we're going over something very, very basic, very simple that a lot of people don't think about is different wheel sizes. There are all sorts of different wheel sizes in the cycling world. We're going to start from the very bottom, very smallest size and go all the way up to some of the larger sizes there are to explain what they're for and why they're there. But before we get going, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you head down below, hit that subscribe button. If it is red, that means you're not subscribed. So you need to hit that red, hit that red subscribe button. If you're not already notified, make sure you hit that little bell icon next to that. That way you get notified every time I upload. That way you don't miss a single video. It's gonna be great. So as you're out riding around, you've probably noticed that there are a lot of different sizes for bicycles. So why is that? Well, we'll start down at the bottom. We'll start down with your kid bike sizes. So you have a small bike like my, like my daughter's bike, which is about a 10 inch, 10 inch tall tire. Very small wheel. If you haven't seen that, by the way, if you haven't seen my last video on my whole bike check on all my bikes I have, I'm gonna post a little card right up in the corner here. Make sure you check that out after this video. That way you find out what exactly I have. And I do go over what size tires there are. So you can take a look at that. But anyways, you start off with like a little 10 inch tire and then you can go up and they pretty much go every two from there. So you got 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Your most common ones generally are like a 12, a 16, and then a 20. Those are gonna be like the three common ones you're gonna go through. It really just depends on when your kid gets into cycling. So best thing there, I always recommend just heading to like your local Walmart. They got all sorts of bikes up on the shelf. You can have your kid try and sit on those bikes, kind of get what size is gonna be the right, si right height for them. And that's really how those are gonna be based on, all the way up to about a 20 inch bike. It's really just how big your kid is that's the kind of bike you want to go with. Of course, for 20 inch bikes, there are also your BMX style bikes, you know, that anybody could really go ride. There are dirt jumpers that are 20 inch, 20 inches as well. So there's kind of a wide, wide range. Really, they go for the 20 inch just because they're very maneuverable. They're a light frame because they're a lot smaller than like a mountain bike style frame here. And the 20 inch wheel really just helps keep everything nice and nice and maneuverable and tricky, I guess you can say. It's the good word to use. That's why they're used for BMX bikes. After that, there's a little bit of a jump. They go from a 20 inch up to a 24 inch and generally up to a 24 inch, that's gonna be like your uh, kid mountain bikes is really what that's gonna be. 24 inch, a little smaller than 26. Again, it kind of goes by height. Once they grow, out, grow that 20 inch bike, you wanna get them a little bit something better. You're gonna be getting them a bike that for sure does not have a coaster brake most likely gonna have regular regular V brakes or disc brakes, gonna have gears on it versus the 20 inch bike, most are non-geared. So you're gonna be kind of upgrading their bike to more of a, you should say adult level bike, more things involved on it rather than just a coaster brake and pedaling, that's it. So that's gonna be your 24 inch bike. That's gonna be about the last kid's bike specifically size that there's gonna be. After that, you go up to a 26 inch bike, which is gonna be you pick a bike, nine out of 10 of them on the road, probably gonna be 26 inches, 26 inch bikes. If they're a mountain bike or just kind of your everyday cruiser bike, they're gonna be a 26 inch. The most common size, been around for forever. And I got a few of them back here. Pretty much good for everything. Good for riding on the road, mountain biking, dirt jumping, anything you think of a 26er, they have that bike. So that's the 26 inch past there is when you start to get into mountain bike specific or the road bike specific tires. So for mountain bike, you're gonna have a 27.5 and you're gonna have a 29 inch wheel. Those are gonna be your two most common. So between the 26, 27.5 and 29, those are gonna be your three most common mountain bikes wheel sizes. What's the difference between them? Well, I'm gonna do a video for that's coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. Really, you're just going bigger up, up bigger in sizes. So at the 29er, have a larger wheel, rolls over obstacles easier, 26 inch, smaller wheel, a little bit more maneuverable, 27 and a half right in the middle. Essentially is the basic rundown of the difference between those different wheels there. And last, the one that's most common for road bikes is gonna be a 700C wheel. And that's essentially like a 28 inch, give or take, wheel. And that one, of course, gonna be kind of the narrower wheel really it gives you that ability of being able to roll over things a lot easier similar to like a 29er so that's your road bike size is gonna be a 700 c or like a 28 inch wide or 28 inch tall wheel of course there are a couple of random ones in between there that are an older style bike 
like this one here, my Sears three speed, that one's actually a 27 and a quarter. There's also a 26 and a half. It's an older stu old school style. Don't, you'll probably will never see one of those out there, but in case you do, they do exist. So those are some other random sizes. Of course, all of these sizes I talked about, all these wheel sizes, you can get tires for these bikes on pretty much any width you can imagine. They have it. For road bikes, they go down to like a 19, uh, 19, 19, what is that, millimeter wide tire, so really narrow tire. Mountain bikes, fat bikes, you can go up to like a five inch wide tire now. So there's all sorts of options in between there for width, and really that just depends on the type of riding you're planning on doing. But that's gonna be it for today, guys. Just wanna go over the basics, basic wheel sizes that are out there, especially in the world now, and there's so many different options that you could choose from. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments section. Be glad to answer them. Be glad to answer any questions you have. But until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.